In this presentation, we will understand input method in Python. So, without any further delay, let's get started. Following are the topics which we need to understand in this presentation. The first topic is input method. The second topic is input method with a message. And the third topic is typecasting the user input. Let's first understand input method in details. So, what is an input method? Input method is used to take user input. Or in other words, we can say that input method is used to take input from the user. No matter what kind of input it is, we can take input from the user and store it in some variable. This is what input method allows us to do. Other than this, we need to understand this, that user input is always converted to a string. Even though user has provided an integer value, that will be treated as a string in Python. Now, let's understand the concept of input method and how it works with the help of an example. For this, we need to open our command prompt and we need to activate the Python interactive shell. Now, let's say that the requirement is to receive some name from the user. For this, we can call the input method and input method will return the user input for us. We can store that user input in some variable. Or in other words, we can say that we can create a variable and make it point to the user input received from the input method. Let's together type this command, name equal to input. With this command, we would be able to receive the user input, which is provided by the user, and then we can store this within this name variable. Now let's hit enter. As soon as we hit enter, we can type the name. Let's say that the name that we want to provide is John. We want to store this name within this name variable. As we are done with this, let's hit enter and we can see this prompt again, which means that this name is accepted as an input by Python. And now we can check this whether name variable is pointing to this string or not. For this, let's type name and hit enter. We will receive this as the result. This means that name is pointing to the string John. I hope it is clear how to receive input from the user. Now, as we have understood this topic, let's move on to the next topic that is input method with a message. Sometimes it is important to specify what kind of input we want from the user. Without providing a message, users will have no idea what type of input we expect from them. So, it is sometimes mandatory to provide message as an argument to input method. So, the syntax is like this. We can provide some message as an argument to input method. In order to see this in action, let's open our command prompt. And now, let's say that the requirement is to receive a number from the user. For this, let's say that the message that we want to display is enter a number. This means we must provide enter a number as the string to input method. And of course, we need to store the value received by the user in some variable. So, let's say that the variable name is number. This means we need to type this command number equal to input enter a number. With this command, we would be able to display this message enter a number on the screen. And now the user has complete idea what type of input he or she has to provide. Eventually, we will receive the input and we will store that in this number variable. Now, let's hit enter. As soon as we hit enter, we will get enter a number as the message. Now, user can type the number. Let's say that the input is 20. As soon as we will hit enter, we will get this prompt again. Now, we can type number and check whether number variable has received value 20 or not. We can now hit enter and we will get value 20 on the screen. But you can observe that this value is received as a string because this value is wrapped within single quotes. I have mentioned this already that no matter what, the input that we will receive, even though it is an integer, will be treated as a string by Python. This has some problems. It might be possible that later we decide to perform some operations on this value. Maybe we decided to add 30 to this value. 
we cannot add integer to a string in python we will get an error in that case so it is mandatory to convert this value to integer this means we eventually need to type cast this value to integer this is what the next topic is all about we now need to understand how to type cast the user input type casting is needed to convert a string to an integer we can convert a string to an integer using type casting and specifically we can use the int method input method can be provided as an argument to the int method in order to do the type casting so we can provide the input method as an argument to int method with this we would be able to convert the user input to integer we know that user input is received as a string so we can convert that to integer we know that input method returns the user input as a string this means that we can provide input as an argument and we know that int method has the capability to convert a string to an integer this means that we can provide input method as an argument to int method because eventually input method will be replaced by the user input and this means we are passing the user input as an argument to int method and eventually int method will convert the string received to an integer now let's see this in action for this again we need to open our command prompt and we will consider the same example which we have seen before we know that we are receiving value 20 in number variable and number variable is storing the string 20 not integer 20 now we can avoid storing a string in the beginning itself we can pass input method to the int method this is how our command looks like so we just need to pass input method to the int method and int method will do the rest of the things for us now as soon as we hit enter we will receive this message enter a number now let's type 20 and hit enter now let's type number and hit enter we will get 20 as the result now it can be observed that number variable is now pointing to value 20 this time this value is an integer not a string because this value is not wrapped within single or double quotes so this is how we can use int method but this is not the only way to convert the user input instead of passing input method as an argument to int we can also pass the number variable as an argument to int and that too later on so after receiving the input from the user we can pass number as an argument to int so this is our alternative approach alternatively number can be provided as an argument to the int method and this is what we will do now so we will consider the same example and this time instead of providing input method as an argument to int method we will pass this number variable as an argument to int method so let's type this together int number we are now passing number variable as an argument to int method as soon as we hit enter we will get 20 as the result i hope this is clear so this is how type casting works and we have seen how to convert a string to an integer in python it is not that difficult we just need to remember this fact that whatever the input we receive from user will always be treated as a string so with this we are done with all the topics of this presentation and this means we are done with this lecture okay friends this is it for now thank you for watching this presentation i will see you in the next one